welcome back to the TF3. Today you are going to be jumping on the train with me to go to Glasgow to watch Celtic versus Barcelona. I am absolutely pumped to see Lionel Messi once again. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walks a thousand miles to fall down at your door <laughs> Buddy. Right. Yeah, good man. I'll call it. Freezing, mate. Absolutely <laughs> freezing. So this is Paul, a Northern Irish fella that I met on the train up to Scotland. He showed me around Glasgow, but he also wanted to share the story of how Celtic started with charity at heart. You see that screen there, St Mungo's? Yeah. See when Celtic were started? Over Walton, 1987. So that the kids in that school could have a dinner. Because in the M days you had to bring a penny to, to, to pay for your food. And most of them couldn't pay for the food so they didn't go to school. And Brother Walfred, he understood that if they don't have any education for these kids, they're going to live in poverty for years and years and years. And that's what he set up. It's Glasgow Celtic, the feed children. That's what it was all about. And that's a fact for. I think that's a brilliant message for any football club is that you're, that's a, that's you're starting on different. the community. We're different than any other club you'll ever meet in your in life. I think it's a massive thing, you know, the club was uh, was brought up and was was opened by, by a priest that set up a, a football match to support kids that couldn't afford to pay their dinner and they couldn't go to school. The football was becoming popular at that time and he decided to have a football game. I can't remember if the first game was against Dundee or was it against somebody else. But at the end of the day, the shirts came from Hibs because Celtic didn't have enough money for the fucking shirts. And that's where it all came from. I think it's a big thing. It's educating kids and it's, it's being in the community and that's what Celtic is. Celtic is a community club and it's been built up from that and it still is that. And it's, it's a massive thing in world football and we're seeing the likes of Red Bull get involved or we're seeing the likes of you know big people like Roman Abramovich getting involved. Celtic was born on the pretense that it was a charity game a charity. to support people. And we were a charity right up until, if you look at the history, you'll find that we were a charity right up until the 1970s. And it was only when we became a, P, uh, a limited company that Celtic stopped. But we still do all the charity work. We still give all the donations. We even give donations to the Poppy Fund in Scotland. And we, we don't wear poppies. The, the, the supporters don't wear poppies. But Glasgow Celtic, they give, I don't know how many thousand pounds. You can look it up on the internet and find out. But that's what we do. And that's why we're a club like no other. And that is it. That is why Celtic is definitely a destination where you've got to go. You've got to go and see Glasgow. Celtic play in any competition because they are the guys. They were set up in a charity situation to help people out. And that is what they live on and that is what they breed on. But anyway, time to go to the game. So what we have now to warm us up is the Scottish Classic. Or the Mancunian Classic. So I'm outside Parkhead, in front of the great Jockstein, one of my favourite managers of all time, bringing the 4-4-2 first to European football. Jockstein was the first manager to ever lift a tight European title for a great British side, and his Celtic team beat the great Hector Herrera's Inter Milan, the most defensive team we've ever seen in world football. But Jockstein, what a legend! Two wingers, two strikers, he has it all. You got to change that, lad. What the f is this? Is this Monopoly money? Mental.
This is the singing section of Celtic Park. There's something very German about it. There's a drummer at the front and a guy turned around not even watching the game with a megaphone leading the chants. <laughs> Game over, Barcelona 2, Celtic 0, Lionel Messi with the brace, one from the penalty spot and one from a pretty decent move, Neymar slipping him through on goal, but what a game that was and I am privileged to see Lionel Messi play live again. Nearly got hit by a bus, absolutely fantastic end to the trip. Honestly, it is like being in Antarctic here in Glasgow. Yeah.